Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kia. In today's video, I will be telling you five things that you need to finally grow your natural hair. <laughs> Let's get to it. Nutrition and exercise. People never want to talk about this one, but this literally separates the people who grow their hair and the people who stay stuck. Taking your vitamins, I always encourage people to go to a doctor's appointment and get a full blood panel. They'll let you know what is low. Most of us, especially people of color, we're low in vitamin D. Make sure you take your vitamin D and your K2. Right now, I am taking Mary Ruth. I really like those vitamins. I also take Chewski here and there. Get some type of multivitamin and also do not neglect exercising. Exercising is helpful with blood flow and you want to make sure that the blood is getting up here, okay? So you can go ahead, you can do your scalp massages, make sure you do some yoga, but exercising, especially cardio, well, strength training as well, really gets that blood pumping. Number two, let's go ahead and get this one out the way because you may know this one and it is protective styling. Protective styling, in my opinion, is the fastest way to grow natural hair and retain your length because your hair is always growing. Hair typically breaks off if you don't keep it moisturized and you don't care for it and you pretty much baby it. It's a baby. That's on our head. Yeah, our hair. So you want to make sure that you have styles where you're not having to restyle your hair all the time or your hands are always in your hair. Like nobody has time for that for real. And your hair will just suffer. My favorite protective style is twists. As soon as I stopped my wash and go era, I went right back to twist because I knew that I did all these curly cuts and stuff and I lost so much length, but I'm telling you, stay tuned, make sure you subscribe. These twists are gonna get me right back to where I need to be, okay? So let me know your favorite protective style below. Another important thing with protective styling is not to just have the style, but try to keep the style either off your shoulder or make sure it does not come in any contact with fabrics, like anything rough that will break your hair off. My shrinkage goes crazy. So right now, actually, as soon as I turn this camera off, I'm going to twist some of these twists right back up and I'm going to put my hair back up off of my shoulders. That is something that I feel like a lot of people miss. They're like, okay, I did the protective style, especially if you do it with your own hair, but the ends are still rubbing and having a party down here on end. And then you're like, why is not my hair growing? Because it broke off, they are in the next season somewhere and they're not coming back. Number three, use hair tools sparingly incorrectly some of these hair tools that you think are doing it for you are just keeping you at the length that you're at this is probably the hardest thing personally for me you can make sure you finger detangle me i use a wide tooth comb even sometimes that may be too much on the hair but when you detangle make sure you detangle or wet hair with a whole lot of conditioner. I also like to do a pre-detangle where some people would just call it like a pre-poo, but try to keep it the tool use to one time in your whole routine. So for example, if you use it during your pre-poo, your pre-poo, don't go ahead and use your comb again when you're detangling in the shower and when you're styling your hair. Like try to pick a one time in your routine where you actually use that detangling tool. And I'll link some of my routines down below so you can see when I use mine. Number four is especially important for people who have tighter textures like myself. You have thick hair and all of those things. And that is to focus on moisture rich products. So you want those moisturizing products, those hydrating products, 
actually read the ingredients, see what's in there, make sure that you have um, rich oils in there. You have things like, I feel like most things have like a uh, shea butter derivative or mango butter or like a sweet almond oil or something. You'll see some oils and some butters in there. And I also like to recommend that people choose products that have water as the first ingredient. And you wanna make sure you continue washing your hair as well. There's this thing in the community that you don't have to wash your hair and your hair is gonna grow very long. And it's truth to that, but the hair quality and integrity of the hair is gonna be compromised. Let's get into the very last tip that's gonna help you finally grow your hair in 2020. And that is mindset. It is having a healthy hair care routine. It sounds nice, right? But when it's time to do your hair, are you gonna be like, oh my gosh, my hair is so annoying. Why can't my hair be like this girl that I bookmarked? You completely have to change your mindset and you have to recognize the hair that you have is the hair that you have. That's the hair that the universe that God gave you. Consistency is such a big deal. I hope that you get in the habit of moisturizing your hair because your hair is like, oh my goodness, I'm loving it, I'm flourishing, da 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 da, whatever. And then come wash day and you don't wash your hair, your hair is like, wait a minute, I, I know I'm supposed to be getting moisturized. Where is my bath? Where is the nutrients that I'm supposed to be getting? I have all of this stuff on my scalp. It needs to go. If you believe that you can grow your hair and you do all the practices, especially the ones mentioned in this video, you are going to achieve your goals. There are two bonus tips I wanna shortly put in there, and that is being mindful of how you use heat and also scalp care. This video is mainly encouragement to help you keep going on your natural hair growth journey. You can do it. You really can. Make sure you follow me over on Instagram so you can get more natural hair care tips. Feel free to write any questions down below in the comments. If you agree, if you disagree, let me know. Share your routine so it can help somebody, all right? If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, share with a friend, and consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you in the next video right here. And until the next time, bye.